Hi guys, my name is Esti. Welcome to Shokaholic. Autumn is my favorite season because then I can wander into the deep forest and hunt for mushrooms and berries. Being in the forest is not only good for health, but it is also good for the soul. In Sweden, everyone has the right to pick mushroom or berries in any forest. The locals are quite serious about this skill, and they normally will not tell you their favorite spot to scout for mushrooms, unless you are very close friend or from the family. I fell in love with this hobby right after my first experience. In order to learn more, I bought myself a book about mushroom hunting. Alright guys, before you go pick mushroom, I would suggest that you read a little bit about mushroom before you pick them. Usually there is a table that indicates, you know, like in terms of colors and this book has been divided into different colors as you can see here. So the indication for mushrooms that are edible and not edible. So you just go according to this table and I'm sure you'll be fine. Also, I suggest that do not try to, you know, pick everything because it's better you focus on one kind of mushroom that is available in your region and is edible so that, you know, you won't get, you know, your mind is not all over the place. In this book, it comes with very clear indication with uh, graphics and pictures, you know, a close-up on how mushroom should look like. So this is quite a good illustration and also what are the tools you need to pick mushroom and also how they suggest that you should clean them and handle them. Centaleo is available here in the region that I live in but uh, this mushroom is quite difficult to find. The one that is very popular in this region is uh, Chat Cantarell. Um, a few years ago, there was a girl from Thailand. She was in the forest and she found something like that. Not exactly. And she thought that, you know, this is the one. So she picked that up, added it, and I think she died. So picking mushroom is not something you could mess around. Make sure you are 100% sure of what you're picking and this one is called cow you want it is one of my favorite mushroom to pick because this one has very nice flavor this is more like buttery and again here I want to make sure that you know I follow all these rules when picking them last weekend I gave my friend Genevia and Ben a crash course on wild mushroom hunting. We had really far time together in the forest and Ben forgot to bring his glasses while hunting so he ended up picking those he could see from the distance. How many bats here? We have three bats. Oh my gosh. We have one, two, three, four, five bats. Oh, my God. And now we go from what? Yeah, out. From five days, there was almost nothing. Yeah. And now they're that big. Look. Oh, my God. Oh, and don't else. throw them away no, this no, time. I want to put Ben. Okay, he doesn't know what to do. This is from Ben. Right? Can you please don't throw them away this time? This is not mine. This is Ben. Yeah, but okay. Ben, he picked the big one. Yep. Okay, you because can't, can't find the small one because... Ben okay. is smart. He's smart. This is okay? okay. This is okay. This is okay. okay? Yeah, but you know, okay, I, I teach you. Okay. And this one, there's no know. worms in this them. This one, I don't know. Yeah, Ben. This one, throw away. Can I throw them? No, no, no. You no, put them no, in the hinges. Right. Right. Me sling them for back again. Me, yeah. Me sling them there. So, so Ben, nothing. I don't know Throw them said. there. Did them get mushrooms here? No, 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 no. different type. Not the this one I thought no. Why? Then I don't know what is that. What is that? 
Du har ju boken där inne. Okej, okay, let me check the book. Can, just... can you bring out the book for us? I'm filming. Oh, okay. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think I'm standing here for? Okay, this is all brand new, right? So I have to approve it, yeah? Of course, those were huge. Unfortunately, most of them were damaged by the heavy rain over the past few days. So we were forced to throw away some of them. This pochini can be found in most forests here up north during August and September. This mushroom has an arch light brown color cap with a palm foot covered with white spider veins. There are a couple of ways you could preserve this mushroom. One way is to slice them into pieces and fry them with some butter over a pan until all the water evaporates. This mushroom has high water content, so it usually reduces down to one third of the amount after frying for 10 minutes. And what the sweet normally do is they will strain the water and pack them into you know, frozen pack and freeze it right away. The other way to preserve it is by drying the mushroom. Mushroom drying is a wonderful way to preserve them for a long term storage. There are a few ways to dry mushroom. Usually, it is focused on the heat and the moving air. The first type, which I've learned from my ex mother in law, was to dry them in the air because the air here is really dry. So I could cut them into very thin slices and just put them on the net and let it dry for a few weeks. The second method I tried was using the oven. But I find that using the oven requires a lot of babysitting because you want to make sure that the temperature is not too high. Otherwise, the mushroom get burned. The other way is by using a food hydrator. Honestly, I haven't tried this method myself, but I heard a lot of positive results from this hydrator. This hydrator can not only be used for mushroom, but it can also be used for drying vegetables and fruits too. And according to my friends who have used it, they told me that the hydrator doesn't require a lot of babysitting. And it also dehydrates the food faster. And ultimately, you can say that you can save money on this because um, lots of dry snacks like dry fruits and vegetables are much more healthier than eating you know, processed potato chips.
I hope you enjoyed today's video. And next week, I will be sharing with you my experience in strawberry farm. And hopefully, I could find some great recipe so that I can share with you how to make strawberry dessert. So until then, take care. I'll see you again next week. Bye. Honey, apple. What do you call kalyu one in English? Mushroom. Kalyu. 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 Kaly